So here we are at Cedar Grove Park in Bellingham, Washington, looking at the water flow measurement system that my students installed about a year ago. This is the box that houses the PLC. We have a small Automation Direct PLC here that's monitoring the closure of the switch contact on the water flow meter. We can see the light blink on and off, in fact. It's one switch closer per gallon of water volume. So if you get uh, 20 pulses a minute, that's uh, 20 gallons per minute. This is communicating back to their maintenance shop about 1,000 feet away. We're using an Abacom RS-232 RF data transceiver linked to the PLC, sending the Modbus signals back and forth. We also have a local HMI display that's showing the water flow rate. Right now we're at 15.3 gallons per minute. We have a battery backup unit, so in case we lose AC power, this unit continues to run for several hours. And it's all mounted inside of a NEMA 4 box, so it's weatherproof. You can see on this, we have a, uh, a pole where the antenna is located. Got a little half wave whip antenna right there for a 900 megahertz transceiver. And that's how we handle radio communications back to the shop. At the shop, they have a larger HMI panel where they can look at the water flow rate over time in the form of a graph. And they can also see the pulsing, the light coming on and off. And they can see a numerical readout for gallons per minute. They've used this to detect water leaks in their system. Because when they have a water leak, they typically get billed uh, with an expensive bill at the end of the month. With this system, they can see they have a leak before they ever get billed, and they can take corrective action. It's already detected two major leaks uh, since its installation last year, so it's uh, more than paid for itself. This is one of the examples of student projects my students will do. Uh, in this case, uh, something takes them off campus, a useful, practical project that helps out the community.